Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Make It Make, where I always try to encourage you guys, if you can't get it to make, then make it make. And I don't know about you, but I have been canning like crazy, and today I'm canning tomatoes, and I pretty much have been cutting tomatoes for three days. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, is learning how to can crushed tomatoes. Like I said earlier, I'm going to be canning crushed tomatoes today. And it's really simple for me to actually do this because I kind of cut some corners. Now, the way I do it is different. When I say cut corners, I mean I do not skin my tomatoes. Now, a lot of people are very controversial on this, but honestly, it's not a requirement of the USDA to blanch it. They highly, highly recommend that you do it but it's not something that's going to harm you or hurt you. It really comes down to it being a preference. For me, it's not something that bothers me and it depends on the year. Uh, some years I do blanch and skin my tomatoes. Other years, and depends on how busy I am, I won't do that. So this year, I mean, <laughs> it's been crazy busy and I've been hardly, I've hardly been able to keep up with the season as it is. So. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm just pretty much going to take my tomato, I'm going to, you know, cut out the core and then just dice them. Like this we have here, all right? And before we do all that, I pretty much take my tomatoes after I've scoured my sink and I soak them and just kind of rinse them off really, really well. I do, I probably rinse them twice before I start cutting in them, just be, especially if they are gonna have the skins, so I'll do a really good rinsing and then start dicing them. All right, so when you are canning tomatoes, I, I like to put the best of the tomatoes obviously inside of my jars. So every once in a while when you're cutting, you'll get these tomatoes that have this very white meat in it. I don't put that in my jars if I can help it. I mean, sometimes I miss a couple, but when I am actually cutting the tomato, I will leave this out because it seems like even when you cook it and cook it and cook it, no matter how far you cook it down, um, it just, it ends up being hard um, anyway. So it's just best to take it out if you can before you go ahead and start cooking. So you guys will have to tell me what is your favorite thing to can? Um, for me, it would probably be beets. I really enjoy canning, canning them. Actually, I really don't mind canning the tom tomatoes. It's just the process of cutting them. It just for me it just takes forever and just seems like it's super time consuming but i would enjoy to hear some of the things that you guys really enjoy canning what's your favorite have you guys tried anything new this year that you're excited about i know that i have all right so the next step is to take our tomatoes and cook them down into a stock pot so i'm just going to be adding all of these guys Okay, so now that we have our stock pot filled, you can see mine is pretty much at full capacity here, but that's okay. The tomatoes will break down and you'll see it just get lower and lower. When you start a stock pot like this and you're gonna fill it up as high as I am, or as high as I do, I would recommend starting off at a low heat and just kind of gradually up the heat as you're mixing it because you don't want it to burn. Uh, that's what I do, but once things are broken down and the stirring is going really well, then you can just sort of up the heat. So let's get to that point and then I'll show you what to do from there. 
Okay, let's check on these tomatoes. I can see that they're already starting to break down because the tomatoes were like up to here at the rim here. And I could see all the juices starting. So they're definitely breaking down here. And I am just going to be mix mixing this, bringing what's at the bottom to the top so I don't have to worry about any burning. All right, so now when we look at the tomatoes, um, we have a lot more liquid than we did the last time we checked them out. So that's good. When it gets to this point where I see a lot of liquid just sort of being mostly up at the top, then what I'm gonna do is bring this to a boil and once it hits a boil, I think I'll only let it boil for about five minutes. And then at that point, I will start the process of jarring them. All right. Okay, so I have my tomatoes here ready to be jarred in quarts. And I have also my lemon juice here. If you are going to be canning these tomatoes in quarts, you're gonna to wanna to put two tablespoons of lemon juice in your quarts. If you are going to be using pints, then you're gonna to want to put only one tablespoon of lemon juice in your pint. So right now, what I'm gonna do is start taking all of my quarts and putting two tablespoons of lemon juice. And after we put in our lemon juice, then we can start ladling our jars. So hopefully you guys can see this. I have a lot of tomato juice left over, which is, this is fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a strainer and I'm gonna dump this pot, this stock pot into another bowl while I strain it. I'm going to put the tomatoes in a leftover jar um, that I still have some room you know, for tomatoes to can. And then I'm just gonna can the rest of this gorgeous tomato juice and just keep it back to our canning area and I'm just going to take these tomatoes and can them just like I was doing earlier with the other tomatoes and if I need a little juice that's fine I can just take some of the juice I have here and finish filling it up and then I have my last jar of my diced or stewed tomatoes wherever you want to call it I'm gonna put that over there for a minute before I put the lid on it. And then what I have left over here is my tomato juice. Now, because this is a pint, I'm just going to put in one tablespoon of my lemon juice. And then I'm just gonna ladle in all of this beautiful, tomato juice here. Definitely do not throw this away. It could be used for so many things. I have a friend that likes to make Bloody Marys with her leftover tomato juice. Look at that. That's beautiful. All right, I've got my camp chef out here ready to go with some propane and I've got 
both my canners out here today just because I don't want to mess around with all the timing. I really just want to get it done and over with, so that's why I kind of busted out both canners. The processing time for quartz in a water bath is 45 minutes. If you are going to be doing pints, then the processing time is 35 minutes. All right, guys, this is the end result. And I have to tell you that I am so pleasantly pleased with the color. It's so vibrant. Um, I've canned tomatoes before and they've never come out like this bright. So I don't know if it's because of the hot summer that we had, but oh my word, I am so happy with them and I cannot wait to use them in stews and in soups. I'm just very happy with the way they turned out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you've enjoyed, you know, the process of canning tomatoes. There's just so many different ways that you can do it. Um, it's one of my favorite things in my pantry. So I really hope that you guys take the time and do it. If you have any questions, by all means, leave them in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys have a great week. And as always, as always, take care and God bless.